<laughs> oh, that was a nice skip. No, you know how uh, we usually, when we start walking in, we either go to the left or towards the right, towards that channel? So I went, I went towards the left, but I'm fishing the right side of the pond, like the other side, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, so you're fishing, uh, you're fishing the area that we can't reach. Exactly. We've caught some nice fish over there, Mikey. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on, Mikey, fish on, Mikey. Oh my God, I just, I just lost <laughs> He just grabbed it at the boat. Like I, I didn't even get a chance to set the hook. <laughs> it's very weedy still. It's super weedy still. Bass on. Oh my god. I'm battling him like an. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Hey. Magnet. No, it's not a trout magnet. It's the, the uh, paddle grub. Beautiful little bass, guys. He is cold, so you know the water is getting cold. Hit the paddle grub. Beautiful color fish, nothing huge, still a fish, guys, which is what we're here for. Let's see if I can get down there and get a proper release for him. So we are here, guys, at our favorite spot. It's been a while since me and... Uh, Diaz have been able to get out on the water together so we uh, were able to get out of work just a little bit early and see if we can uh, have a successful day of catching a nice one he's throwing the saucy swimmer right now or the paddle tail swim bait launching that actually <laughs> that's actually pretty far anyways and we're gonna see if we could get him there's barely any visibility though Wow, smallest bass in the world. Nice. <laughs> Literally the smallest bass in the world. Come on, guy. Angler kayak, which is. I definitely think you should give it a shot. Definitely. Oh my god. A big one. Just grabbed it. Oh. Relax. Relax. Nice and easy. Not a big one. It's a decent one though. Relax. Get him in the boat. Whip him if you have to. Hurry. Nice and easy. Ooh. You got, got him? Got him, buddy. Nice. <laughs> oh, he wasn't going nowhere, buddy. He wasn't going nowhere. No, he was hooked good. He was hooked very good. Let me see. Looks like a decent one. Yeah, not a bad one. He was chilling right right on the weeds over there in the bank that I like to fish. He literally took it and just ran off with it. Yeah.
He came right off. <laughs> it was nice. It was like okay. It was a decent one. Right now. No touchy? What? Have you seen no touchy? Oh my god, something just had it. I can't really hear you, you're kind of far. How about now? Now is much better. I said, I'm your coach and you're my bitch. I want a two pounder, let's go. No response necessary, just do it. Oh my god, bro, one just grabbed it right at the boat again. And I let him I let him take it and he literally again they're just not grabbing it by the, the by the head. I, I literally I Oh my god. Oh my god. As soon as I get a fish on the frog, the battery dies. Not a big one, but decent. Yeah. Oh my god, another small micro. Another small one in the grass. He felt much bigger. It's the micro. It's a little micro. The little micro. Micro. Micro fish. Micro fish. That one's for you, Wells. Thanks for letting me. Thanks for letting us cut out early. That's right, baby. That's for you. That one's for you. Shout out to Chris Wells. Mike. Oh my god. Well, I think that's pretty much it. We're gonna give it a couple of tries closer to the ramp with the frog and see if anything bites. But overall, a decent day, rough day. Um, decent day, but it was a rough day for me. But I'm happy about it. I got out here and got to uh, catch some fish at least. It was a lot of fun. I wish I could have gotten more for you guys in the camera. Especially that frogfish, of course, my battery died. So I hope that you guys enjoyed at least a little bit of that. And I'll catch you guys out on the uh, next episode. And don't forget to subscribe.